Will Durant continues his list of the top 10 greatest thinkers of all time with Francis Bacon at number 6. Francis Bacon was an English philosopher and politician during the late Renaissance period. Bacon is considered the father of empiricism and greatly contributed to philosophy by applying inductive reasoning as opposed to the more commonly used deductive reasoning at the time. He is also credited for establishing the modern foundation for the scientific method, which is a method of acquiring knowledge in an empirical manner, which has greatly influenced the development of science since Bacon's time. Bacon believed that truths within reality are already rooted within nature and that they could be discovered through careful experimentation and interaction with the world. He swayed away from the heavy use of logic and deductive reasoning in which various theories would be created and instead preached that direct experience with nature is what is most important. He also strongly believed that uncovering truth required hard evidence through full investigation. Although a prominent statesman for much of his life, Bacon's political career ended in disgrace as he was charged with several counts of corruption and bribery. However, his philosophy of stressing the importance of empirical evidence when questioning aspects of reality greatly influenced the way in which modern science is practiced today. Number 7. Isaac Newton Isaac Newton was an English mathematician and physicist who was perhaps the most prominent and influential figure during the scientific revolution in the 1600s. Newton is known for his significant contributions in the field of optics, mechanics, and mathematics, among several others. One of his most important contributions was his development of modern calculus alongside Gottfried Leibniz. His book Principia is regarded by many as the single most important scientific work of all time. In it you will find some of the most profound discoveries in the history of science, including Newton's laws of motion, which was a description of the relationship between a body and the forces acting upon it and its motion in response to those forces. This rule has since laid the foundation of classical mechanics. In it, he also discusses his law of universal gravitation, which although was eventually succeeded by Einstein's theory of general relativity, served as a significant tool which improved the way fields of study such as astronomy could be practiced and understood. Principia was published on July 5th of 1687 and provided a fresh mathematical description of the universe. Newton combined his laws to remove the final doubts about the validity of the heliocentric model of the solar system that was put forth by Copernicus and Kepler before him. His discoveries also played a key role in enabling the Industrial Revolution. Number 8 on the list is Voltaire. Voltaire was a prominent philosopher and writer during the Age of Enlightenment. His work attracted many critics as he was covered in controversy throughout his entire life, but he is nevertheless still considered one of the greatest French writers and thinkers to have ever lived. Voltaire was one of the first people during his time to openly criticize the Roman Catholic Church and the dogmatic religious beliefs that were in existence. He was a strong advocate of freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and separation of church and state, which were all quite revolutionary and even criminal ideas at the time. His literary work caused him to be at great risk during a time of strict laws, but they inspired many important figures of the American and French revolutions. He was known for using wit and satire in his work, and his courageous ideas and efforts undoubtedly serve as some of the most fundamental values America is built on today. Number 9. Immanuel Kant. Kant was a German philosopher who also lived during the Age of Enlightenment. He was an incredibly important philosopher who considered both Descartes' rationalism and Bacon's empiricism to conduct a new era of philosophical thought that greatly influenced all of philosophy, especially his comprehensive work in epistemology and metaphysics, which had a significant impact on the school of idealism. The model of rationalism put forth by thinkers such as Descartes and Spinoza stated that knowledge is derived purely from reasoning, independent of experience, while its counterpart empiricism stated that knowledge comes from experience alone and only experience. Kant sought to combine both ideas as he felt there was truth in both approaches, that knowledge comes from both experience and concepts. 
To understand truth and the nature of the world, Kant advocated that we must perform a critique on our own mental faculties and define our own limits of knowledge, which can show us that the sense we make of the world is determined by our own mental processes. Although Kant was considered an idealist, which is the belief that reality is made up entirely of mental ideas and not physical things, he differed from most idealists in that he does not deny the existence of a material external reality, but believes we can never transcend the limitations and contextualizations provided by our minds to truly experience it. All knowledge of the external world, according to Kant, is filtered through our minds and that all we can ever truly know is phenomena. Kant still believed that reason was helpful and encouraged to give up things that are not necessary, things like religious practices and the strong insistence on the existence of a god. He also greatly endorsed the notion of treating others exactly how you would prefer to be treated. And to finish the list at number 10 is Charles Darwin. Darwin was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist who is best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. Soon after graduating in 1831 from the University of Cambridge, Darwin accepted a position on the AMS Beagle, a ship whose aim was to map the coast of South America. He would spend the next five years traveling the globe where he studied and collected various specimens of the natural world. After examining the numerous areas he visited, such as South America, the Galapagos Islands, and Pacific Islands, he began making detailed records of his observations. Darwin spent decades contemplating the origin of these various species and conducted experiments before he presented his theory of evolution by natural selection. He argued that all living creatures, including humans, developed and adapted over time modifying themselves to suit their lifestyles and environments. He believed that life was a single tree that was continuously branching and rebranching. He came to the conclusion that only the strongest species survive while the weaker, less adapted ones are weeded out, ensuring the survival of the species through the strongest and most fit individuals. His theories tied together all of the life sciences and explained where living things come from and how they adapt. His theory greatly threatened the traditional beliefs held by scholars and the church, but eventually gained support from scholars and scientists during a period where the world was rapidly changing in the Industrial Revolution. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more content similar to this, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel.